Hello everyone and welcome to a new PvP based playthrough series that I'm starting on my channel today on this bad boy right here. Allow me to explain what's going on. I've just started a brand new character, level 13. I've literally just got to Majula. Um, well actually I went to the Forest of the Fallen Giants just at the very start so that I could trade with one of my friends because the only thing unusual about this character is the fact that I have 99 cracked red eye orbs at the very start of my game. The reason for that is I have to defeat another human player in any area I choose to go to. Once I've successfully defeated another player, I can then challenge the boss of that level. However, there is a catch, and that is I have to use a weapon that is uniquely found within that particular stage. This way, I get to invade in loads of cool places and use really interesting weapons that I wouldn't normally use. So, in today's episode, our three goals will be to acquire a weapon found in the Forest of Fallen Giants, then invade and defeat another player, before finally challenging the pursuer boss. I'm really, really excited for this series. I hope you guys are too. I think it should be a really good one. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So we finally made it, we're at uh, Cardinal Tower, which is where I wanted to be, because now we are going to go and get the Fire Longsword. So I'll show you with the binoculars, we're trying to get down there. Right there is actually a cave, and that is where the Fire Longsword is, which is the weapon I'm going to be using to invade in this area. There's the cave right there, and uh, the interesting thing about this cave is actually when you go through it, there's two, there's two other like hollows up there, and they run down and like follow you in and um, the first few times I did this I didn't know that they'd be following me so they kept I kept see like watch I'll show you I'll run in here just give it time give it time my hair color matches the flames <laughs> see here we go so you can be trying to get the fire longsword and somehow you'll just get loads of hollows like pouring in behind you and they can really mess up your day all right well that's taken care of that Right, I've got the door open. Now all we need to do is just run past. The, there's that. I don't even know what they're called. I think is it a fire? Something to do with fire. Anyway, there we go. Okay, here we go. Here's our first weapon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fire longsword. So as you can see, I don't quite have the stats to use it. So um, if I ever come into an area and I find a weapon that I don't have the stats to use. I can, you know, farm a bit or do whatever I need to do to get some souls so that I can level up and get the right amount of uh, stats I need to use the weapon. So let's go and do that now. That'll just involve a quick trip to Medulla. Right, so he's going to go and set up. So I think I just need to... Can I just rest at the bonfire or do I actually need to warp away? Let's, let's quickly have a look. Is he still there? Oh no, he's inside. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, I've made it plus two. I think that might have to do for now. I just realized I forgot to get the Estus Flask shard as well, so I'll quickly pick that up. And uh, yeah, okay, now we should be good to go. Okay, so all I need is nine dexterity. There we go. That's the only level I need, and now I can use my Fire Longsword. I have the correct stats for it. I also am going to give her my, my Estus shard, although I can't use that while I'm invading, but obviously, because this is a PvP playthrough, a uh, PVE playthrough as well. I need to defeat all the bosses and get through the area. So of course, having uh, Estus flasks will be very important. There we go. I've got two. So, all right. Now all that's left to do is actual find an invasion. So let's go to the forest of fallen giants and let's find an invasion. And when we get our first win with the fire longsword, which is a weapon I found, of course, in the forest of fallen giants as part of the playthrough rules, then we can go and defeat the pursuer. So. Let's do it. Here we are. So this is the first invasion of the series. I'm in the Forest of Fallen Giants, the first area. Uh, I need to get a win before I can go on to challenge the boss of the area. And we found someone already. That's crazy. I thought it would take a while. But um, that, this is why this series is going to be go really smoothly, I think, because um, there's so many. It's the game so new. It's still so new still. So there's going to be lots of people. So here's the first invasion. As you can see, you've got 98 cracked red eye orbs. So... Um, I assume he's going to be still up here. Okay, so he's opened the shortcut. The the black 
And um, okay, it doesn't look like he's out here, but obviously he still has the merchant there. I wonder if he's up here. Oh! Oh man! <laughs> uh, hello? Whoa! Okay! Can he even see me? I said I was going to go straight for the kill, but like, what is going on? What? Why didn't I get... Alright, and there we go. <laughs> there we go, that's the first win, so now I've unlocked, but kind of unlocked, um this area for us of the fallen giants and I can challenge the area boss to move on to the next area so let's go and defeat the pursuer all right here we go so yeah we're gonna make it so that um I can't challenge the area boss for the area that I'm in until I've defeated you know a red and an, another human player basically but I think everyone gets that now hopefully um, the series you like to start this this the sound of this series so far I'm having fun already I think it's gonna be really good actually Oh, yeah, the only difference here is I could sort of go to, like, the the normal arena where most people fight the Pursuer, because then you can do the parry ballista method, where you parry him and he and he sort of stands still for a second, and then you can uh, use the actual ballista to fire huge arrows at him. Oh, this is it. This is it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was round one with the Pursuer. It didn't go so well. <laughs> oh, is that it? Do I only get one chance? I can't remember. Okay, so I've just been running around for like half an hour and I just realized that I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> I completely forgot that you have to kill the last giant before you can challenge the Pursuer. So I'm going to quickly do this now. I'll probably just do a quick cut of me defeating at the end because this fight isn't isn't so interesting you know I mean it's quite easy although the boss is quite cool aesthetically I do like the way it looks but um, yeah let's just do it there we go Hallelujah. Now that was awesome so I think we got the key there and now we can go and challenge the pursuer I've also got a nice stack of souls which is gonna be important because if you think about it each area I'm gonna be need to get a new weapon and if I want to have a decent chance at actually defeating someone in you know in online in an online PvP match then I need to have my weapon at least a bit upgraded I'm probably gonna upgrade each one to you know plus three plus four if I if I can get the upgrade materials so souls will be important in that regard and also buying things like throwing knives because they do some good damage and they're really useful in PvP. Not many people actually take advantage of that, I feel. Yeah, the soldier key is what I needed and I kept I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't remember why I couldn't open the door, where where to get the key, but obviously you need to defeat the last giant. So that's done. So this episode is actually gonna be really like productive. Um I defeated two bosses in it. So okay, here we go. Uh oh I'm not full health. Ah, oh, right, I'm gonna run it. Right, I'm gonna try and get the parry method. It's not gonna work. Nope, it didn't work. Forget it. Ah, <laughs> uh, It always seems like he has less health up in the arena than he does on the, you know, in the place where you can technically first encounter him. Is that true or not? It just seems like... He just always seems a bit easier up here. Now that I say that, I'm probably gonna die, but... I actually do like the way he looks aesthetically, and I quite like this boss fight. I wish you could have his armor though. He looks like a bounty hunter. His armor looks pretty awesome in my opinion. Whoa, what's going on there? Oh, stamina! Stamina, 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 stamina. <laughs> That was close. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> I'm cursed. I am cursed. Yeah, if you didn't know that that special attack where he he uses his sword and it turns blue and he stabs you with it, it actually curses you. So I was actually human before. Ah, that sucks. Oh my goodness, I thought he was going to do it again. <laughs> I could not deal with that. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we should have this fight in the bag. Just there, yeah, that's it. One more. Oh no. Oh please, don't mess up now. Okay, there we go. 
Sweet. All right, there we go. That is awesome. That is episode one pretty much it. Let's just wrap it up. I've got oh, I got the ring of blades. Definitely equipping that. That will help uh, in PvP and PVE. So that that's that'll be awesome for the next for the rest of the series. Now, I'm sure some of you would enjoy earning some extra money online, and Opinion Outpost have kindly sponsored this first episode, and they allow you to receive rewards like cash, Amazon gift cards, and iTunes gift cards just for completing surveys and sharing your own opinions. It's completely free to join and all you need to do is check your promotions tab in Gmail to find the surveys they send you. This is a really big thing at the moment because research companies need your opinion on topics like food, TV, movies, new products and politics. There's also a $10,000 quarterly prize draw for active members and each time you participate in a survey you receive an entry into the drawing with no entry limits. If you're interested in this, simply click on the first link in the description and take a look. Cheers guys. In the next episode we head to the sunny seaside side area of the Tower of Flame, where we search for a weapon we can use, invade some online opponents, and take on the old Dragon Slayer. We made really good progress along our journey today everyone, a really fine start to the series. Thank you so much for joining me this episode, and I hope to see you next time.